Just over a week ago, DJI released a new firmware update for the Mavic Air 2, and in this video, we take a closer look. What is going on everybody? So the newest firmware update for the Mavic Air 2 is finally here, and that brings us to version number 01.01.010. .01 .010. Now this update doesn't have a ton of new features. In fact, it's only got one really new feature with just a few optimizations and runs about 176 megabytes. Now, in order to get the most out of this update, you will want to update your DJI Fly app to the 1.2.4. If you are on iOS, you can go into the App Store and just download the latest version. But if you are on Android, uninstall your current version of DJI Fly app and then go ahead and head on over to this link and download the latest APK for 1.2.4. Now, of course, I will leave this link down in the video description as well. And if you want a little bit more information as to why Android users have to do that, there is a second link down there that kind of goes a little bit in depth on what's going on with the DJI Fly app and the updates that are taking place. The first and most notable change with this update is adding the 48, 50, and 60 FPS shooting modes in 1080p while using the focus track before the update. If you notice, we were limited to a maximum of 30 FPS in 1080p while using the focus track. So this update just extends that all the way up to 60 frames per second, allowing us to have a little bit more control over the footage that we shoot. The other changes that come along with this firmware update are better prompting for when using focus track. I went through about two or three batteries while using focus track and I didn't receive any other prompts that were different before the update, so I did reach out to GGI to see if I could get some more information as to what prompts we're supposed to be receiving. Unfortunately, they haven't emailed me back on that information, but as soon as I get that, I'll be sure to post that in the pinned comment for you guys to see. Optimized detection and app prompts to detect when propellers are unfolded both of which do require the DJI Fly 1.2.4. So this just goes in, probably gives them a little bit more uh, accurate telemetry data. If something happened to the drone, they can detect to see if the uh, props were in fact folded or if they were unfolded and installed on the correct arm before the crash or incident occurred. Now the final change that came with this update is the optimizations to the DJI Flyaway program. I did try to scour some forums to get a little bit more detailed information on this one as well. Unfortunately, DJI seems to have those optimizations pretty well hidden. But if you wanna know what the DJI Flyaway program is, I will go ahead and leave this link also below the video for you guys to check out so you can find out what it what it exactly is, what it covers, etc. So there you have it. It's a small update, not a whole lot of changes, but just a few more optimizations. Now I've ran about three or four batteries through the drone. I haven't had anything unusual happen to it, but I have read on some forums that people are getting some lagging issues or stuttering issues. So I would highly recommend just removing your previous version of DJI Fly and downloading a fresh copy of it and uh, that should help solve out some issues. Now that is gonna wrap it up for this week's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it and you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.